Good morning. It's been a hot minute since we've been in here. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because Mayor doesn't seem to like it. So if you hear, hear that in the background, we're going to kind of work with it. Um, I've been filming in there and he's been close to me, so I guess maybe not a good plan. One and two, talk to you. We're doing, gonna, just going to do a quick eye look. Um, uh, we're going to go back into the two and receive palette. This is off the cuff, guys, because I have the house to myself. Yeah, this week is Creators Camp. Um, so today and tomorrow I have like an extended amount of time to myself to just go, ah, then Wednesday hits <laughs> and we have creators camp and camp meeting. I don't know how I'm going to work that. If I'm going to work that, I got to do creators camp. Um, generally camp meeting is when we all get to see each other from all over the state. Um, I haven't been in several years don't know if I'll go this year or not. We're going to go in with a MAC paint pot for a base. I have a Sigma base that I could use that works wonderful, but I grabbed this out of habit and use it. So that's what we did. Um, gonna just talk about some stuff because it's Monday and I have time and it's quiet. Um, hopefully, I can be your fertilizer. And I, and when I say that, I hope that you will stick around and stay with me to understand what I mean by that. I have a friend of mine um, who I've, I've talked about. She recently wrote a book or released a book, published a book. That's the word I'm looking for. Um and one of the things that she was saying the other day was to have to have people around you that uplift you that you know help you um that guide and advise and all that neat stuff um and I, you know, I've been home for an extended period of time rehabbing things. And Saturday, Ian had a pool party. So I had, I took him and it was at her house. And while we were there chit-chatting and talking, it was, I it was like, you know, I feel so much better. And it was like, you know, I remember the last time that I felt this good, I was with another friend who does the same thing. They don't, they don't pity anything. You know, they don't, I don't want pity. My medical situations, none of that stuff do I want pity. I want people that talk straight to me, um, that lift me up and tell me, you know, you, you don't have to, no, no pity parties. Let's do this. And the, that's, when I came, left Saturday, I was like, you're, you're my fertilizer. So I hope that, that that's the purpose that I can serve in your world if you're watching this. Um, or that you just get something valuable, of value, a little bit of entertainment. I don't know. I don't know if my eyes are getting smaller or my face is getting fatter or what's going on. Um, there's less of me, but not much. Let's do this because I'm going to just keep rambling and I need to get this done. Gonna just take a little crease brush right here. There's not I go if you with from ha ah, let's try speaking again. With sig the Sigma palette that I'm using, um most of them Generally, I don't have to deal with a lot of fallout or kick because um, I generally go in very, very light-handed. And, you know, it's just 
not really much of a thing. I have not forgotten that I have other palettes, melt palettes and stuff. We'll get to those. Um, I just had to get into this. And you know what, guys? I totally didn't put anything on top of the, yeah, oops. Oh, well. I'm going to take a, actually it's a, more of a blending bl brush. I'm going to take it into this white and just kind of blend. It's kind of a shimmer and we're just going to kind of blend it up. And I kind of did my placement a little because I was running my mouth. And I kind of didn't. Think about what I was doing. But it's okay. We can fix it. My little sabbatical. <laughs> is over. I went back. Yesterday. We can go right down here. Just a little dimension on my eyes. Remember, my mirror is behind you when I'm in here, and you're here, so if I appear to be looking off to the side, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. Um, and it was great. It was, um, it gave me a gauge as to how much my body has recovered and how much strength I have regained. Um, will tell you, I set my alarm, we've talked about this before, um, on mornings that I have choir, Sunday mornings, uh, we have choir practice, and I like to get up at five. Um, it takes about five minutes to get to church, but I like to get up early, give myself time to get ready, uh, have coffee, you know, all that neato stuff, um, and, you know, factor in mayor, <laughs> you know, um, well, my husband usually gets mayor on Sundays, and he generally will take him out all of the times that he needs to go out on Sunday. It's kind of their bonding time. And now, as you've seen from the shorts that I've posted, Ian just suddenly, it, it was Saturday, I was getting ready for the pool party, and I was like in the middle, and he started whining, needing to go out. And I was like, hey, Ian, is there any chance you could take him? And Ian said, well, yeah, sure. And he did it. And I was like, and so, yeah, he was, he asked me to post the videos of, you can see him take, let him off the leash. You can see him put him back on the leash, You're training with him, bonding. They are buds. And I'm happy about that. Um, pretty sure that he stole my dog. But, um, and it was kind of comical. I, I've got some pictures that I'll post um, at the end of the video that I took this morning. I, we were outside walking um, as they were leaving for camp this morning. And Mayor's just standing at the gate going, you're taking my boy. It's like, please bring my boy back. Um, but yeah, uh, see what we're going to do. I'm going to keep this with the mat, so I'm going to go take my finger back into the color that I put in my crease and just kind of dust it in over my lid. And I used this the other day. I used, I've used these two. I've used the tiramisu, and I think this is blueberry parfait. This is what I ended up wearing to the pool party. Was I way overdressed? Yes, of course. It's, it, I was telling my friend, I said, this is habitual when you have um, chronic illness, things of that nature. When you get out and about and you get to have a time when you're around people, you try to look 
will. So that the topic of the entire topic of the conversation is not your health. It's it gets to be something else. And um, I told her, I said, you know, and with me, without even thinking about it, because I've, I've, I've done my makeup and stuff the same way for so many years that it's just like, and there it is. And I'm like, ah, oh, we said we were going to keep it simple. It never happens. Um, I'm going to go in with the Mac stick. And I figured out, because Mac is kind enough to write on the tubes big enough to where I can see it without my glasses. So I can throw away the package. Yay! Um, we're going to go in with the micro brush stack. And just put on just the smallest bit of mascara. Um, just to kind of be a little put together because I'm on water the delivery people duty until Ian gets back. Uh, and there are packages. I don't know. Well, Friday... You know, Friday is our big day that um, we have most of our deliveries and our garbage bin people and all, he gets the, the bins and I don't know how we're going to do that because that will be his last day of camp. Um, We have walked four miles this morning. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I listened to my audio Bible for part of my walk, and then I've gotten to where I turn on some music and sing. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors love it. Um, but, hey, um, it's it makes getting those steps in a lot easier. Um as far as, you know, did rehearsal, did both services. Um, when I came home, and my husband and I went out and walked a little bit more. We, I don't, I take days that I rest. Um, I don't, I'm not walking every single day. Um, because I'm trying to build, not destroy. So, you know, strength, there, there's rest, and there's strength strength and rest so there's that um i forgot what else i was going to tell you but we're already i think at 13 minutes quick look um i love these shadows so far um you it's kind of that situation where you really can't mess them up there's not a whole lot of you know you really are not going to create a whole lot of different looks but you know see how easy that is and I think I used two brushes which is record for me um have been using have used the Jones Road bombs a little bit I'm going to order a what the foundation um because this has piqued my curiosity I wore this to Saturday it was nice um, it, 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 I, in comparison, I wore the ABH balm with a, a touch of, hold on, this one as kind of a little bit of blush yesterday, um, with, Mostly this one, ABH Balm and 12. It's this was my morning yesterday. It was get it on and go because at five o'clock when my alarm went off, 
I went back to sleep and I did so at six o'clock too. So it was like 6.30 when my brain said, oh wait, it's Sunday. Um, and you can see, this is the other, I think it's a six or seven, I can't remember. I, I use it, I use this more around the inner part of my face. Um, and um, wasn't bad. Um, did have to kind of pay more attention to stuff than I normally do whenever I have my Estee Lauder on. But bomb, double wear foundation, two different things. Anyway, um, coming up this week, tomorrow we will do what has become the Tuesday video. Um, probably do some hauls because some stuff is coming in this week. Um, I've actually got to make another chewy order. The cats have gone through food like crazy. They're almost out. Um, it's like, wow. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And Mayor has kind of plateaued. I think he is almost at his height, at, at, as big as he's going to get. So his, his food intake, he's not eating as much as he was for a while. So it balances out. I got one hungry, one or two hungry, hungry little kitties that are scarfing down food <laughs> and a dog that slowed down it is what it is um if you have anything to take away from this little rambling thing it's so easy and 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 i'm just gonna tell you i'm gonna i'm gonna go there um it's so easy to watch people like Foodie Beauty. Yeah, I'm just going to say it and be candid and honest because why not? Um, I told y'all a few months ago, weeks ago, whatever, however long it's been, I kind of dipped my toe into that. And I'm just going to tell you, it, it, it so much of it, I had a friendship end. Um, a few months ago that was a long, long friendship. And when it ended, it devastated me. Um, and part of, part of me watching Chantel was kind of therapeutic, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, my, my, former friend, I guess. I don't know exactly how we classify each other at this point in time. I still love her. Um, I don't know. I don't know that we'll ever be close again, but, you know, I still love her. So, you know, um, but I remember she, we both battled on different ends of the spectrum uh, with food. I didn't want to eat it, and food was her comfort, and um, she, whenever, I remember whenever um, we first went back home, um, one of the things that she said to me, um, there were, we had some candid conversations, and I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail, but she was trying to do better for herself. And a lot of people gave her garbage for mishaps and stuff like that. And um, she told me one day, she said, you know, you are the only one. Um, now, I don't know that she ever was the same size as Chantel. I don't, it's irrelevant. It, I'm approaching this from a ther from how a positive because I get how people can get frustrated and aggravated with her um, as far as the way that she eats and things and the noises and carrying on and all that good stuff it's ridiculous we raised cattle and livestock 
that did not make as much noise. And I'm just going to leave that there. And for me, um, with sound issues, it just, wah! <laughs> so it's kind of that, mm, we're just not doing that. Um, do I think it's, it's, do I think it's intentional? Yes. I think it's her moneymaker. And I think it's intentional. Um, I'm going to leave that there because the point of this was I was talking, I remembered my friend, my friend telling me we would go to the mall and walk and I'd walk with her and I remember her telling me, um, you know, you're one of the only people that I can walk with because you will walk at the pace that I need to walk at. Not, you're not worried about what, and I wasn't, I never saw her as her weight. And it, and, and I, I mean, I never did. It never was. Um, cause you know, like I said, she was on this end of the spectrum. I was on the anorexia end of the spectrum with eating disorders. And we met somehow in the middle and, you know, my brain was telling me that I was fat whenever I was a size four, a size two, into junior's clothes. Um, yeah. So whenever, when I dipped my toe into the, into Chantelville, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to, I've had to dip back out quickly. I can't do it. I, I can't because I catch myself falling into I will tell you, she was very motivational for me because at the time that I had started to walk and, you know, I was walking a little bit with Mayor, but, you know, not being, um, not being dedicated, I guess is the word to doing better. Um, I thought I was doing a lot better than what I was doing. We found that out when I went to the doctor, um. <laughs> uh, But, you know, that that was motivational and it and continues to be because I'm sorry, but there's a difference in, you know, referring back to my friend. Um, I watched her put in the work to get get a better way of life. Um, I watched her. um you know, we walked those steps around the mall. Um, we did those things. She did the hard work. You know, she, whenever I moved away, she did the hard work in the journey for weight loss and better health. And um, I know what it looks like. I have had more than one friend that went through bariatric surgery or went through bariatric weight loss and I've been with this bit when been with them with their through their struggle and through their journeys um and th you can tell a difference in who really wants to do this and who really doesn't and I don't think that Chantelle is there yet and I hope that she gets there because she's worth it. The, the, the thing with her is that she sees her value in dollar signs. And because eating in the manner that she does brings her income, that's her value. So we're going to spin this right back around because I really didn't intend to go into that it just hit my brain hit my mind so here we are i'm going to drop a little fertilizer on you it's real easy i catch myself getting angry you know the noises and stuff like that it, it's why i had to dip back out um i catch myself getting frustrated because you know it's plastered all over twitter and everything about her latest antics fail whatever um you're giving her what she wants, number one, is attention, publicity, you know, we did this before with different people. Um, am I trying to stir up a hornet's nest? No, I'm trying to be fertilizer for you today. It is 100% easy 
to pick all the faults out in her. It's real easy to pick out her faults and failures. You know what's not easy? Is to pick out your own and actually do something about them. So let me be your fertilizer today. While you're picking out hers, if, you, if that's what you do, if it's not, that part don't apply to you. But if there's somebody in your life that you're picking out their faults and failures, make sure that you're picking out your own. I've said this several times before on videos. When you point a finger at somebody, you got three pointing back at you. So make sure when you point that finger that the three that are coming back at you, you're accountable. That's all I got for you today. If this, I don't want this to draw negative attention. I don't want any hate. That's not my goal here. Um, my opinion is my opinion. Uh, my accountability is accountability. Um, I, when the doctor did the A1C and they sent the results back to me, I was like, no, uh, no, no. You know, I've known for quite some time that I needed to get back active, to get back in the pool, get back into doing the things that make me healthy. You know, last year I was able to work in the garden and this year really not. Um, so take time to dig into you but also take a little time to do a little of that good stuff that fertilizer it doesn't always have to be crap okay one last little and then we'll close this out I go to a farm in the town over from where I live to get my dirt for my garden beds about every year. It is compost mixed. I, I, I get what's called the blend. Um, I get it from Winnie the Pooh. The Stivers Homestead turned me on to them. It's been great ever since because I don't do in-ground beds and even if I did, I would probably still get dirt from them. Um, what, what she starts with, she's got horses. She's got a side, another side business now where she goes to other farms and mucks their stalls because she collects that, brings it back, lets it compost, and sells it to me. <laughs> and, and people like me. And we use it. She uses it in her, you know, for her garden. Other people, I mean, people come from a long, long distances. Um, they deliver long distances, gardens, flowers, all kinds of stuff. So they make lots of money off of horse poop processed properly into extremely good soil to grow food in. So everything that appears to be crap, let, turn it into fertilizer. Find a way to make whatever that crap is good for you. Find some way to help it make you better, help you be a better person. As for me, I'm dipping away from, the, because it, it, I catch myself starting to feel ugly towards her. And so I dip, I'm dipping away from that. Um, it, it, like I said, it has been therapeutic. It has helped me to, and I'm not comparing the two, the behaviors, because it's their situations are totally different. Um, but there's been enough that has been for me to be able to process and grieve the ending of the friendship. Or there's distancing of the friendship. I don't know where we are, where we are with it, um, but you know, uh, I've tried. I tried 
even with Chantel, I was like, you know, let's make a, a you know, let's make a group, uh, help each other be accountable. Um, it was a good idea. That's as far as it went because I'm in the same boat. I, you know, I am on the cusp. I don't want to be there. I'm overweight. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, I thought I was doing a whole lot more than what I did in a day's time until I slapped a Fitbit on and actually wore it. And seeing that, mm, no, girl, you're not moving that much. Um, anyway, that's it for today. That turned into quite a little chat. Didn't really intend to go there. Um, but we will get this up and done. Um, I hope that you enjoy the shorts and stuff. And I don't know. Um, yesterday was kind of kind of a moment. Um, EJ has outgrown his booster seat. Officially, finally, completely. And it's just kind of like we're there again. A um, little bit short. She's going to be done the 15th. Um, I don't know what her next move is going to be. I hope that at some point that it'll be a stop here. Um, um, just don't know. But anyway, y'all just, you know, be somebody's fertilizer. And while you're at it, fertilize yourself. Speak good things over yourself. Your words have power. Have a great day. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. I'll see you in the next video.